Hi everyone, it's Tom, WA2IVD. I'm recording this on June 21st, 2021. I wanted to get this short video out today in time for you to take advantage of something that I started this morning. ARIS, which stands for Amateur Radio on the International Space Station, is broadcasting slow scan images from the ISS all this week until the 26th. These are articles that appeared on the ARRL page and the ARIS Slow Scan TV blog. I'll have links to those in the description. If you're like me and work during the day, you might not be able to be at your radio every time there's a pass of the station over your location. The IC705 has a handy record feature that allows you to set the radio up to automatically record any space station pass as it goes over. Then you can just load the recorded audio onto your computer and decode the images later. Let's take a look. One feature of the 705 that is really handy for doing recordings of things that you can't be around for is the voice record function. And you need to have an SD card, which you see the little SD card symbol here. So we have one loaded in the radio. And if you want to record something that might happen while you're away, such as the International Space Station sending slow scan pictures, you just press the quick button, and I'm already on that page. It's the third page down in the quick menu, so it's at the bottom, and you've got record start. Now if I press that, it says recording started, but you'll see it's actually paused, and the radio will automatically pause the recording as long as the squelch is closed. So on an FM signal or even on HF, as long as you've got the squelch set up and you know you're going to have a strong enough signal, you won't be wasting any space. So let's see if we can find some audio here. There we go. Now here you see it's recording. Let me turn that down. So you'll see that it's recording now because the squelch is open and I have audio. And if they drop the repeater here, there we go. The repeater dropped. It paused. And then it started again on the next one. And it will create a new wave file every time it restarts. We'll take a look at that shortly. But the nice thing about this is if you want to record, for example, those slow scan pictures, we can go to VFO. And I happen to have this tuned to the frequency for the space station. The radio can sit here as long as you've got it on and hooked up to a power source so you don't run the battery down. And it will stay paused all day long until there's a pass. So if you can't be there to start the recording or be there to try to copy pictures, you can let the 705 do it for you. And actually, the IC7100 has an SD card, and it operates the same way, and so does the 9700. So any of those ICOM radios that have SD cards for and a voice recorder function, you can just turn that on and let it sit there for the whole day. All right, that's all we're going to cover for this time. This should get you set up so you can record audio from the space station. I'll be putting together another video showing you how to listen to the files on your radio or copy them to your PC. Thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Radio A to Z.